Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty bohemian princess and to have a lot of fun new products to show you, so I'm excited. The first one is this new black sponge by Krivelin. It has rounded edges, it's really soft, I love it. The black color makes it so the sponges don't stain. Their original sponge has the sharp corners and is very dense, which is great for detail. The softer sponge, um, it absorbs paint more and provides provides a softer application, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Another new product is the Rose Bee Rainbow Cake, and I'm going to go ahead and load up my soft sponge with that, and I'm going to apply the yellow color in the inner corners. It's always more aesthetically pleasing to put the lighter colors in the inner corners of your eyes, and I'm just going to make a half um, C pattern with that, and I'm going to bend my sponge so that I can get more of that orange color. So always remember you can manipulate your sponges to put color where you want it. And I absolutely love this rainbow cake. It is so vibrant and so pretty and all of the colors are pearly and shimmery and it's my new favorite cake. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip over my sponge and put the yellow on top and the pink down the center of my nose. Now you all know that I love glitter and I was so excited when Krivlin sent me this glitter sprayer. Poofers are great, but as you know, they can distribute the glitter unevenly and in patches. With these glitter sprayers, it sprays it super evenly on the skin. It's effortless, it's easy. You can see how nicely it applies the glitter. I love, love, love it. Krivelin also came out with some beautiful mica powders in that same spray bottle, and you, they have really rich, beautiful jewel tones available. I prefer applying my mica powders with a brush, and they're really great for getting in those creases or spaces that you can't quite reach with a sponge, or for brightening up different areas. I really, really love it, and they're great for applying on adults. And I'm applying the dark purple color to my creases and the bottom of my eyes just to add a little more dimension and interest to the design. Now it's time to apply the jewelry to the face and this always adds a lot of um, interest and sparkle and everyone's always impressed when you add jewels. So Krivelin has a ton of really pretty gems to choose from. So I'm using different colors just to make it interesting. And I'm using a skin adhesive um, or it's like lash glue glitter adhesive to apply these. But you can save a lot of time by just using a um, gemstone setting adhesive with which Krivelin also sells and this is what it looks like. I will probably make a video soon showing how to do that so you can make your own little bling to just stick on the face really easily. I'm also putting some jewels on the corners of my eyes and those jewels will, rep will represent the center of the flowers. For the line work, I'm using a number six round brush and Krivelin Regular White. Make sure you really activate that paint. Make sure it's nice and creamy. That's how you're going to get those nice bright whites. Also make sure your background is nice and dry. So I'm doing sweeping teardrops that focus in the outer corner of my eye. Just make sure all your points point to that outer corner and they're going to get smaller as you go around your eye. Practice your teardrops, they're so important. To help frame the eye nicely, I'm just going to put some shorter teardrops in the very inner corners. And repeat that on the other side. Since I have those thick bold teardrops in the corners of my eyes I wanted to add interest by putting in some very thin whimsical swirling lines just make sure to work on the very tip of your brush and then push at the end to give it that nice um, teardrop look so you're just gonna pull and push working only on the tip of your brush 
you can leave all of your line work white if you want or if you're in a hurry but I wanted this to be really bright and colorful so I just took some regular Krivlin teal and I'm popping some teardrops right over the white teardrops that I created to begin with and this is a great way to add dimension it makes your design look outlined but it's a way faster way to do it just to layer things than to go and outline everything and now I'm taking Krivlin creamy magenta and I love it because the teal absorbs it and it gives it a really dark pretty purple color and then I just tipped my brush in white and went over the very ends of my teardrops to give it a 3d look and it's so fast but it looks so dimensional and so pretty and the colors blend together beautifully and that's it I hope that you guys like this and can use it at events soon. It's so easy and colorful and beautiful and perfect for summer. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below. As well as all of the products that I used in this video. Thanks, guys.